Welcome to the Toast to the Men Network with your guy, SD. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Toasters, I hear a lot of people saying or complaining or ranting about not getting re- support from their family members. And sometimes these family members can be their spouses. I mean, that's a tough pill to swallow. I won't lie about that. I won't minimize the hurt and the disappointment that can come from that. Probably even depression. But I'm here to tell you that's okay. That's okay. You can still succeed. You may have someone in your house that's speaking against you, that's speaking negativity, that's putting a ceiling over your progression, putting a ceiling over what you can accomplish in this life. That's okay. You can still succeed. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to be challenging. I'm not saying you're going to go through different phases of anger, disappointment, depression, sadness, uh, bitterness. I'm not saying that's not going to happen. What I'm saying is, if you can tune out the outside noise and make your voice the loudest, and then that make your voice positive, Additionally, having a plan, staying focused, persevering, and completing your task, you can succeed. And, you know, people, family members, you know, they may not support other family members for different reasons. I mean, there's so many dynamics, so many layers to families, uh, especially now. But just even in the nuclear family, you know, the wholesome family, you have layers, you have different personalities. You know, you have beefs. You have uh, envy, jealousy, uh, ignorance. And sometimes you have generational curses to where they can't even give you something that's not in them. They can't give you the support because it's just not really in their DNA. There's generations of this bloodline not supporting each other and only seeing the ceiling being so high. So they can't give you something they don't have but you can still succeed. As long as you can see a glimmer of light and see the task through, see the mission through, you can succeed in spite of. I haven't always had the support that I would have liked to have, have, uh, to have but I push forward. I'm not saying it, it gets easier the older you get and the more times you do it, it gets easier. It just becomes second nature. But yeah, in the beginning, man, it was rough. I had a spouse that said I wouldn't be good at at, at something, you know, and uh, that was proven to be wrong. And now I didn't go out of my way to prove her wrong because that flame is going to only last so long. You know, the anger is going to simmer down after a while and you're going to still need some motivation to help you get through the task, get through the mission to completion. So I wouldn't let, uh, my advice to you is not allow anger or bitterness or trying to prove something to someone be your motivation. This just has to be your calling. You have to know this is your mission, and that's enough to see it through. But on the flip side, just being objective and removing emotion away from it You know, sometimes you got to look at at yourself and say, do I deserve support? Do I have a history of not following through? Do I have a history 
of not completing tasks, not completing missions? Do I have that history? You have to be honest with yourself. And and even with the potentially cold reality, cold answer, a chilling answer to that question, you can still succeed. Because what I believe, that's just part of your trick. That's just going to be part of your testimony. Everything can't be handed to you. Everything can't be smooth. Everything can't be peaches and cream. But you can still succeed if it's truly your mission, if you're truly dedicated. Stop looking for support. Stop. Right now, today, stop looking for support from family members, from friends, from spouses. Stop looking for support. A lot of times, they're too close to you, so they can't see your full potential because they're too close. And they only remember you as one way, little Johnny, little Susie. They only remember you one way. And some people have you stuck at 8 years old or 13 or 20. They have you stuck there in their mind. And they'll never allow you to grow and to mature in their minds. And that's okay. You can still succeed. Just keep focus, keep pushing, endure, hold your head high, be in position, be available to receive good news, be available to, to receive blessings, to receive positivity. And people, the universe, God, Allah, will bring the forces, the people, the energy your way that you need to complete your task. I know this firsthand. And like I said, the more you start accepting and accomplishing things, well, let's break that down. The more you start accepting that, you know, you don't have the support you would like to have and you push forward and accomplish things, the more, the easier it gets. You don't even realize what you're doing. Uh, I mean, eventually, like I said, it's second nature. You're just handling your business. Yeah, man, you, you got you to gotta stop looking for support. You know, you were given a task, not them. So it's on you to complete the task. But you'll get everything you need as long as you stay positive, stay focused, look forward. You'll receive all the tools, all the help you need. It'll come your way. It'll be drawn unto you. I promise you. Let's keep pushing, Toasters. As always, from me to you, love, peace.